Hi, we are Witches Hill, and we just did our first paranormal lockdown. Uh, shih tzu. shih tzu? It was either a Shih Tzu or a Chihuahua. And you remember? Yeah. Okay, crazy on. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, you know, the guy would only invite you over for his house at Christmas for two hours, and oh, you have to leave. Yeah, was that the uh, the guy who had like the room full of and stuff? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. He was a nut. Yeah. Right? He loved Vietnam. Right? He loved Vietnam? Wow. Like, did, wait, did he go to Vietnam? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, Not to fought. visit, I mean fought. No, he fought. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you should hear stories. Um, we could talk about him now, he's dead. Um, <laughs> he got into it, but if I'm not mistaken, he was the one that would go after the battles too mm -hmm. and volunteer to ID the people and get them together, yeah. know, all the dead. <clears throat> so nothing really scared him, right? And he used to work over at in Melrose. But he used to live in Chicago, so what he would do is he worked second shift. <coughs> Instead of fighting traffic to go to work, he'd come over to Grandma's house. And he'd stay there an hour or two before it was time to work and then leave right from the house. Yeah. Well, we're in the front room and we're watching TV, and the middle bedroom, the door was shut, and you heard the doorknob jiggling, you know? So we're both like, what the hell is that? And then we looked and we seen the doorknob actually jiggling. Like, oh, okay, no big deal. You know, figure it, the dog is in there. Yeah. And then it started opening and closing, opening and closing, opening and closing. And it's like, what the fuck? How the, why don't the dog just come out? You know, thinking maybe the dog jumped up and hit the doorknob. And it keeps closing yeah, up. Yeah, and it keeps closing. So, we're like, the fucking dog, how did the dog get in there? So we both got up, we walked to it, and I was about to grab the doorknob. He was behind me, and the dog came out from behind. From the back bedroom, or the front bedroom. And he just looked at the dog. And I seen the dog, and I just stopped, and I'm like, you get the door. He's like, I'm not fucking touching it. And we waited a minute, and then opened up the door, and there was nothing there. No animals. And it's like, okay, was it the wind? No, couldn't. Try telling my mom about it. And I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. There's nothing wrong with this house. I don't want to hear it. I'm telling you, it happened. We were in Melrose Park, Illinois, at a house that has been in our family for some time. Yeah, for a couple decades now. Um, the three of us went, decided to go there and see what we could find because we've heard stories throughout all this time about weird shit happening there apparently the original owners had died there it somehow got into our family we're not entirely sure how but it's been in our family since I, i'd want to say like the 40s or 50s this is the house that we're going to be locked down in tomorrow november 25th i wasn't, I wasn't trying to argue. both floors <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.